Butterfly gon' recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'ma tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy out there. Thomas Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire flies. We used to rock the lights. Our sisters penalizing our brothers. Disappearing our fathers. Turning our leaders to martyrs. Stealing our art from the artists. This is the trauma you taught us. Just know we built with resilience. Though we've been hit hard when it's too much. We don't let go. We let go. Take the wheel, on this course much better feel My emotions get the best of me, damn it, vendettas are real How are we, highly favored, when we're tasered and target practice For the far right, fascists, blue, heartless bastards who partake You'll slide across the floor to shots and take you outside Where the original live, like diaspora You gon' die in horror, you gon' die in horror Won't get a chance to hear the coffee music He gon' say that's life then a voice says, yes, son, now walk into it. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang. You know who I be. Follow me on IG, Vada underscore fly. Tell your mama to say hi. Salute to the gang. Um, Danny Myers. Salute to Danny Myers and all that he's got going on. Danny Myers has been quoted saying, give me 50K and I'll get rid of Lux. Speaking of loaded Lux, beloved. Uh, Danny Myers has been around Battle Rap for quite some time. We've known him, the bar guy, legendary in many aspects. You know, one of the greatest line for line punches, rebuttalers. You think of it, he can do it. Uh, Danny Myers has been known for battling at a very high level. He's took on some really ill competition. He's beat some names. You know, we I, I could just talk about Danny's accomplishments and what he's been able to do. And now he's worked his way back to big cards. He was just on Gnome. He battled against Nun Nun. He got the win in that perspective. He battled Av not too long before that. Uh, he's got Fonz coming up. I think that's going to be a pretty good battle, especially coming off of what Fonz just did versus Calico in that one round battle. But he says, give me 50K and I'll get rid of Lux. So there's so many ways that I can unpack this, right? Um, I do like Danny stepping out saying a word, making things, you know what I'm saying, known that he that's who he wants. But the problem is, so many problems here. Nobody really, I don't know anybody who's really, really, really on the Lux train right now. You know what I'm saying? If Lux battles, it's cool. We'll see Lux. Oh my goodness, it's with Lux. Woo -de -woo. But I don't know nobody who's vying for it. Uh, ever since the Geechee Gotti battle, it took away a little nostalgia from Lux to see Lux lose in such a manner because it's not about losing i mean it is about losing but it's not about losing it's kind of how you lose when you lose see like if you lose a game 115 to 113 115 111 but y'all gunned it out it was overtime you know what i'm saying y'all both went out cool but if you get blown out 153 to 65 or 108 to 71 it's a big big difference and it's not about how, it's about, it's not about him losing, it's about how he lost. Like he didn't even look comfortable, he didn't look like himself. So to see that performance, if Danny's asking for 50K, 50,000, what's Lux gonna ask for? And this has been a long running narrative when it comes to Danny and Danny's battles. The MCs will ask for so much money that it doesn't even make sense to do it anymore. Or it'll be some shit like, we'll pay him, but we, we're not even gonna pay you. Like we can't pay you, we can't pay you what you want. If you're paying Danny 50 grand, how much is Lux gonna want? A million? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the problem. And the thing is, the reason why a lot of MCs will shun other MCs is because they battle so much. You know what I'm saying? You know, Danny, he's EFB, but he's EFC too. Every fucking card. Like, he's on every card. That's the thing. And these guys don't slow down. And I don't got no issue. I've said this, um, I said it to Danny himself too. I don't have an issue if you're battling frequently, but you're winning. If you're battling frequently, but you're having classics. If you're battling frequently and all that, that's cool, you can battle every day. But if you're battling frequently and the work starts getting stepped on, who wants to see that? So, even if you give Danny or say, okay, we got 50 for you, is Lux really gonna take Danny? Does he re I know Lux has said, listen, Lux is a mythical character, he's a good dude, I've met him more than once. Lux is the type of nigga, he's gonna say whatever, now, I ain't saying it in a captain way. He's gonna say whatever he gotta say during that conversation. But when he says it during the conversation, that shit gonna go so far over your head, you ain't gonna know what he's talking about. You can ask him straight up with a camera rolling. 
Lux, what's up with you and Danny? Danny said he wants to battle. He says he'll take the bread and he'll get rid of you. Lux gonna say, yeah, me champ. I feel his energy, I feel his energy. I know he creeping, but he ain't really got up to that level. See, when we do that thing, when we get to that thing, when, when that energy meets at that certain level, and we do that thing, when that thing happens, he ain't gonna be able to stand with it. See, the thing is, I tap dance. He salsa dances. So the, the, the dancing ain't even the same. To even be in the same, like we don't even put those type of names in what I got going on here. And But when the, but the energy's creeping, he just need to do a little bit more turning up with the decibels and he gonna be like, what? That's, that's why we go do what we do. That's the love. Mm -hmm. like, I was instilled with that. Um, to be inspired from dudes that was from my neck of the woods was dead nice. Like, but this is this is how Head Ice come into the fold. Okay. It wasn't just Head Ice. It was more. It was gorgeous gangster. It was sad. It, it was like my my okay. nah, my neck of the woods had some words with all them had to that. You know what I mean? So it's already the, the the conversation, the lingo, you know. But lyrically, like I put putting it together. So is this nigga talking about? I don't know what he's talking about. What? What, what, what is this nigga talking about? I don't know. See, that's the shit that happens. And I'm telling you, Lux will talk you. He's a smooth, slick talking Harlem nigga. This nigga will talk you ill. And you're not gonna know what he's saying. So, the nigga told me one time, to my face, that JC and him can line up for that thing. That was like four years ago. Them niggas ain't battling. And they still ain't battling. And they probably won't. For the same fucking reason I have for mentioned. Same reason. So, Danny, while we know, You'll take Lux out for 50000 nigga. I know. You, I'm pretty sure it'll be good. I'm, I know you would. But they're not going to do that. They're not going to do that. Who's going to pay that? Caffeine? I've been hearing whispers that you... And I'm, niggas had like 100 events last year on Caffeine. What we had, like four, three or four this year? It's August. It's about to be September. Ain't been a lot of cards. Ain't been a lot of big cards. I was chilling with my homie earlier. And the nigga don't really... He watched Battle Rap. But he don't really watch it like every week. He don't know all the shit that's going on. He know who I am. He was like, yo, when's the last time you had a rap battle? So I ain't seen a battle rap in like two years. And I was like, what? He said, yeah, they used to upload them shits on YouTube and I don't see them shits no more. That's how the regular person who's not in battle rap all the time, but they know they fuck with it every now and then. These niggas don't even know battle rap exists no more. They think the shit is extinct. They're like, yo, I see, uh, what's up with the battle rap shit? I'm like, oh, there's an app now. Oh, you talking about the caffeine? I had downloaded that shit. This is what I swear, this is what my man Ock told me. I, I go to caffeine, I download the shit, I'm looking for the battles and there's no battles on there. He thought that the battles were actually uploaded to the app, not like, and I told him, no, you gotta catch it when it happens. Like, I'll send you the date, but you gotta watch it, you know what I'm saying? Like, it'd be on from like three in the afternoon to like 10 at night. That nigga was like, yo, how am I gonna do that? I don't got all day, I got kids. I can't sit up there and sit on no app and watch no battles all day. I like to watch them shits when I watch them. I said, oh, them days is over unless you get the URL app. He's like, damn, how many apps? So you see what I'm saying? Niggas get lost, you know what I'm saying? The paradigm is shift. You got app after app, but nothing's coming out on YouTube. And, you know, be that as it may, a lot of bootlegs running around. I do watch bootlegs all the time. You know, I'm not waiting for battles to come out. I just don't feel I need to. So I will utilize the resources that are provided for me theoretically get things that I need. I'm not telling you to do that, but I'm telling you what I do. If I want to see a battle, I'm going to watch it when I want to watch it. I'm not waiting for shit to drop. I'm not doing it because there's enough people doing the Lord's work that's going to send it to me. But anyway, so Danny, while we feel like, you know, you and Lux could be a thing, it's like, bro, that I hear you. But who's gonna give you fifty thousand? Um, has it been somebody to give you fifty thousand before? Like who's gonna get the URLs? Are not gonna do that. You know what I'm saying? They, they they won't because they'll just line Lux up with somebody else. You know how they they always find a reason to bullshit with you. I don't know why. You know what I'm saying? But they always find that reason. You're battling Fonz. You're battling Fonz in like a week or two. Who just had? Go find that man. He just had an all world performance that shows he could stand in front of top tiers versus Calico. You need to be worrying about that nigga over there. Because I tell you what, I tell you what, you battle like uh, a week or so before and all of that, I tell go in there and play with Fonz. Go in there and play with Fonz. I swear to God, go play with him. If you think, oh my goodness, yo. you think he's playing with you? Because Fonz still ain't been getting, I still don't feel like he's been getting the looks he deserves. I don't. I've said that before about many people. If I don't feel like you're in the looks you deserve, I'm gonna call it out. I said it. You know what I'm saying? He battled Cal. 
I know the league that threw put it together, they probably didn't like the fact that I recapped it like I did or used their footage or whatever the case may be, but you see the battle came out the next day, right? Fuck it, it is what it is. Like, I waited till 2, 3 in the morning to see that battle. If I gotta wait till 2, 3 in the morning to see a battle, I'm recapping it the way I want to. That's the way it goes. Like, it doesn't go, like, we control what, I control what comes out on this channel. You don't have to like it. I don't give a fuck. But anyway, um, so yeah, you got Fonz coming up. You better worry about him because if you play with him, he gonna make it dark for you. You ain't gotta even worry about Lux. 50, 50, I think that you should be more concerned with the book. Book it and I will get rid of him. I would love that. But the price that you, they, they're gonna be like, that's too high. Like they, they're gonna, they, I know for a fact that they're gonna be like, that's too high unless you get somebody else to do it. But the thing is, Lux will fuck your money up because let's say a nigga offer you 50. If Lux don't want to battle you, he's not going to battle you. Now, I know a lot of MCs, <laughs> a whole lot, that for 50000 they don't give a fuck who's standing in front of them. They're going to go, they're going to spit their rounds, and they're going to leave. Whether they win, lose, or draw, they don't give a shit. There's a lot of MCs that do that. One of them who don't <laughs> is Loaded Lux. He's not going to just go battle anybody for money because he has paid so much when he battles that in between time, He's got businesses, he's got music, he's, he's, Lux got management. He don't just be running around doing no willy-nilly shit. Like, Lux got management. When, if Lux wants to speak to me, Lux sister or somebody else that works with Lux is going to hit somebody and get my number and then get me to call, that's how it works. Everyone else, they just call you themselves. Click, click, boop, yo, this is blah, blah, blah. Not Lux, that shit is business. So he's not about to just play with his business and battle anybody that he don't feel like is worthy of the battle. Especially, see the problem is, you book Loaded Lux versus, let's say they book Loaded Lux versus Danny, October 12th. Today, let's say they booked it October 12th. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what day of the week that is. We gotta make it a Saturday, so I might have to change the day. Give me one second, you motherfuckers. October 12th is a Wednesday. So let's say October 15th is a Saturday. Saturday, October 15th. Danny Myers versus Loaded Lux. Wow. The nigga gonna battle eight times before then, though. That kills, that's gonna kill it. Even if you book the battle a month or two from now, you're gonna battle five times before that. And that's just not what it is, bro. That's just not, that's what's gonna kill it. That's the reason why. Would you give, would you give someone 50 grand, right, to do to, to, to do something for you? Like if it's, let's say it's illegal, or let's say it's legal, or maybe saying, yeah, I'm gonna give you for this to do this for me, but you're gonna make 10 stops on the way to me. Nigga, I'm not gonna wait for you to do all of that, cause you know, by the time you get here, you might. That's the problem. It's not about the talent, it's not about the MC, it's about battling so much, you know? I can see you versus Lux, but I can't. Lux ain't battling no nigga who battling three times a month. He's just not gonna do it. Like, or not even three times a month. Niggas that battling four or five times a month, every month. He's not battling you. He don't feel like it's nothing to gain. Now, if it's a battle like he's- Our sisters penalizing our brothers, disappearing our fathers, turning our leaders to martyrs, stealing our art from the artists. This is the trauma you taught us. Just know we built with resilience, though we've been hit hard when it's too much. We don't let go, we let go. Take the wheel, on this course, much better feel. My emotions get the best of me, damn it, vendettas are real. How are we highly favored when we're tasered and target practice for the far right fascists, blue heartless bastards who partake.